mind. I mean, it's amazing how people say all he preaches about is money. And that shows me right now, you don't watch my broadcast and you don't come to my church. Because if you watched the broadcast and you came to this church, you would feel stupid if you said that all I teach is on money. As much as I teach on everything that's got to deal with life, you still stuck on the last name Dollar and you still think that's all I teach because I'm rich and I'm blessed. Well, I'm supposed to be blessed. I, I don't apologize for that. I renew my mind. I renew my mind and I keep renewing my mind and I'm renewing my mind today. You don't have a pastor that stands up here saying I've reached it. I still got to keep renewing my mind. I still got to work on my game. I still got to work on my mouth. I still got to work on my thinking. I still got to work on I, I, I'm, a, I'm still a work in progress. You might be perfect, but I'm still renewing my mind. But I will not allow the stronghold of the devil to stay up in here when God's giving me 66 books to renew my mind. This is a classroom. I am called, Taffy is called to watch over your soul. That means we're going to give an account one day on how we use our instruction time. We're going to give an account one day. Did we stand in this pulpit week in and, and week in out trying to get you to say something? Where are we looking at you in a real sanctimonious way? And uh, did we tell you that it's time to get God to move aloud? Because if you can get God to move, he'll move in your life like he moved in my life. Ha. Been moving all around. Ha. Been moving to the left, moving to the right. Moving, 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 ah, moving, ah. Yeah. That is not enough to get the victory over the devil that's trying to kill you. I was at, uh, in New York in the uh, Embassy of Change in the Smith community, and I dropped by. They were doing an event, and there was a lady who was looking out the window, and she said, Creflo Dollar. And her and her mama were debating about why I would have people to bring their W-2 form in order to get into church. And why was there a cash machine in the lobby? You know, those, some of you are very familiar with all those fables. So. And so... Uh, she decided to come down, and she had a head rag on and everything. And she said, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, how come you uh, make people bring their W-2 form to come to your church? I said, nobody has to bring their W-2 form to come to our church. She said, for real? I said, no, ma'am. She said, well, what about that cash machine? Why, what y'all need a cash machine in the church for? I said, well, that's a good idea. We don't have one. <laughs> I said, that'd be so convenient. I know a lot of times I would love to just go to the lobby and just stick my thing in there. <clears throat> but we don't, we don't have one. So she went back up. Excuse me, I got to go tell my mama. <laughs> she went up and told her mama, then she came back. She said, excuse me, could you sign my book? I like you now. <laughs> you know what happened? The wrong person set her mind. The wrong person set her mind. You got to understand that's what the accuser of the brethren wants to do. Wrong person, set in mind. My mother was telling me that in this, in this church, there was a gentleman that showed up early one morning. And he showed up and he says, oh, praise God, I'm so glad to be here. Here's my W-2 form. <laughs> and my mom said, well, what's that for? Well, I heard you had to have your W-2 form to come in and God knows I need to get in there because I got to get the word. <laughs> My mama said, uh, baby, you don't, have, you don't need no W-2 form to get in here. Just, just go on in, you know. But I was so impressed because he was willing to just bring his W-2 form. But somebody, the wrong person, had set his mind the wrong way. 
Amen? And no matter how many times I say we don't require no W-2 forms, and how many times I say we don't have a cash machine in the lobby, there's still somebody competing to get in your mind because that devil is trying to keep you away. Why? There's a reason why. Your pastor is under such attacks, and other pastors who are preaching the Word are under such attack, which is why it don't bother me, because I understand what's going on. But here it is, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4. 